Hey you guys, Naturally Marked here. Welcome back to my channel and I'm all wet, ripping and everything. I am here with another pre-poo chit chat video. Pre-poo chit chat video. So we're gonna jump right into this video because I don't wanna be before you guys too long, okay? So today, all I'm going to be doing with the pre-poo is probably one fourth of olive oil and one fourth of grapeseed oil. So that's what I have in my little bottle today. Sorry if you can hear my fan. It's hot in here and I can't do it, okay? already got my armpits sweaty and everything so i mm -mm, i need the air on so hopefully it doesn't disturb you guys but today what we're going to talk about nappy jehovah nappy headed jehovah she made a video a couple of weeks ago talking about how she basically stopped doing natural hair videos i just thought it was pretty interesting what she said so this is kind of it's not necessarily a response video because somebody else had did a response too it was like along the same line of why she's going to stop doing natural hair videos and i'm but you guys are wondering is like so naturally marked are you going to stop doing natural hair videos so if you guys haven't seen nappy headed jojova's video um you can go check her video out but this is just my thoughts on the whole situation of what she was talking about just a small recap like a 30 second recap real quick basically and how do i say it basically simpler word and not using million dollar words or a hundred dollar words or even 50 50 dollar words if that's how you feel the what words she was using i'ma just make it very plain and clear basically there are mixed women on youtube that claim that they are natural which they are natural in their own way now this is just me paraphrasing what she talked about so like i said you guys can go back and watch her video but basically she was just pair she was just saying how mixed women are on youtube now and they have been the face of natural hair the natural hair space isn't big enough for actual 4c girls that have short thin hair that short thin hair basically we don't get to come up and i'm saying we as a four type girl because i'm not necessarily saying that i am 4c because i don't want nobody pissed off at me if somebody don't think that i am a 4c headed chick so i just say i'm four type i know most definitely i'm four type and as you guys know i don't care about typing she also said how the natural hair community have become really toxic and it has not been a nice place for her to continue videos to make a long story short so and also she talked about the jump crow law and a little bit a little bit of that but that's basically what she was saying is why she stopped doing natural hair videos because us as black people don't want to see what we have you want to see what you basically don't have and wish that you had that which in reality you're not gonna have that because your hair don't look like that so she just stopped doing videos because she didn't feel the need to but i am here to kind of say you know if you watch that video and you're a new youtuber and you're a small channel like like mine because even though she said she stopped doing hair videos she still she got something she did something else she completely just did something else so but nevertheless she she still gets a lot of views so i'm just coming on here because i seen the video it didn't make me feel the type of way because everything that she said in that video is 100 percent true let me give you my thoughts on what she said and then i'm gonna give you my thoughts on why i'm making this video so i can kind of stay organized so my thoughts on what she said yes black people do not want to see what they have they want to stay in a fantasy world and watch videos and that their hair texture is not like their hair texture is not like the people that they are watching i do believe that black people been put against themselves as i've been talking about in other pre poo videos is like black people have i mean we just hate on each other so it has been put into us since the willie lynch law that if you're lighter if your hair look like this then you will get a certain and you you get you get to be in the house you get to be in the crew you get to be in the gang if you look like this like so just saying i i do agree a hundred percent with what she's saying and about how you know the natural hair community it started with it's supposed to be brown skin black women with 4c hair pretty much you know i'm i'm using that very lightly because there are some light skinned women out there that has 4c hair too so i'm not like like just tripping on one particular people but it was supposed to be for the unfavorable pattern to have a place uplift each other and for you to see how to take care of your natural hair and it's become completely not that most of the time on youtube
YouTube, you do only see light skin mixed women with the curly pattern hair has always been deemed more um, acceptable in culture, in our culture, in everybody's culture. Um, a lot of people get with the opposite race just to make sure that they have their light skin kids with the good hair and everything like that. Like some people go that far into it. You know, it's it's very true that's all you see that's all that media pushes for that's all you see even if you're not subscribed to these people not like they're these people like we're over here and they're over here it's like no i'm saying like light-skinned women like these people that they push to the forefront like with nicer curl patterns that's what i mean i'm talking about hair i'm not talking about race or like i'm not talking about i'm not i'm talking about hair like the people that they push up to the front with nice hair that's what i'm talking about okay so you don't don't get it twisted but they do push people that have either long longer hair and here i am i'm sitting here with long hair um because she did stay make a statement that if you have very long hair for 4c type women then those are the other women that get praised too if you have really long thick 4c hair then you get praised too and you don't want to see people that got thin hair and <sighs> man basically what i'm trying to say is it's true there is just this i mean it's just the under the underlying bs of it all it's been that way for years it's been in our community for years nobody really speaks on it and you know it is it is what it is while we're walking around talking about black lives matter and stuff like that and we're wanting other people to accept us and love us y'all we need to accept and love ourselves for one and like i said in a couple of videos if y'all really are a true ride or die y'all know that i made a vlog video talking about i have a comment but i choose not to comment it's just a simple fact because black people we want everybody else to love us but we don't love ourselves as a community we have so much hate within our own community and we want everybody else to respect us and love us and we don't even respect and love ourselves because of back 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 in slavery days and i mean i'm gonna just be 100 percent honest is it just stems from that with the same breath getting back to youtube and not to like just get all off on a racial racial injustice and stuff like that because we as black people know what it is we've always lived with it we've always lived with just keep your head down mind your business do what you need to do to get back home safely yes ma'am no ma'am yes sir no sir play the game until you can freaking get yourself home safely like us as black american people has dealt with that but getting back to the youtube side of it all and how they choose to only put the three c type of haired women up for everybody to see and be celebrating them as natural you know everybody have their own journey and everything like that and for a nappy headed jojova for her to make the video you know it's her opinion that's the type of content that she made but i just wanted to tell all the young ladies that are like having 4c hair it's thin it's not long it's un it's unmanageable if you want to call it that it's not what everybody wants to see if you are making youtube videos i just wanted to come on here because you know i felt like the message could have been a little bit discouraging and it was just for her journey like it's just it's just her journey it's her choice whatever you want to do with your channel do that with your channel her goal was probably Probably to make money off of YouTube and to um to to make a living off of YouTube so for her to not want to do natural hair videos anymore that's completely fine like I mean her content is still nice she be speaking truth and everything but just for the newer natural hair girls out there if you want to do natural hair videos the natural hair community is not dead you just need to pretty much filter what kind of content you want to watch because a lot of that content do come in from you clicking on people's videos so if you are only getting 3c typed hair video you need to go through your algorithm and see what type of videos are you clicking on what type of people are you watching if you're not getting videos that of people that look like you you need to see exactly what you're clicking on because that could be part of it too if all you're getting feeded is people that don't have your hair texture or hair type 
side is what you're watching because YouTube and Google is just going to recommend what you click on. Even though they do push these people to the forefront, um, you know, you still have a big part in what you're clicking on and allowing your feed to come back. Like the feed to come back as only this particular group of people or whatever the case may be. If you're only getting people, if you have a problem with it or not even have a problem with it, if you're just trying to be real with yourself, just go and look at your history and look at the type of people that you're watching and that's probably why you're getting the fee that you're getting. Um, the second thing I just want to say, hopefully this video is not all over the place, but you know, for Nappy Headed Jojova, it was her choice. She probably wanted to make money and just for your YouTube videos, you need to do what works for you and be that inspiration to some other little girl. Like even though you may not have 2 million um, followers, even if you don't have a half a million followers, even if you don't have 20,000 followers, there is somebody out there that's watching you that looks like you and you are their big YouTuber. You are the person that keeps them going with their natural hair journey. You are that person that will probably inspire them. And if you watched her video and just felt discouraged, just don't feel discouraged. She's just speaking truth on her lane and how she felt and why she stopped doing YouTube videos. And if, and if it made you feel discouraged, don't feel discouraged. Everybody has their own lane. Everybody has their own goals in life and what they wanted to do. And her doing YouTube videos probably wasn't getting her doing hair YouTube videos. She probably wasn't getting the amount of followers or, and also she did say something about how people would talk about her. And I know that's a huge thing to like, especially if people is talking mad head about you saying it, it looked like you got cancer and crap like that. Like I said, you guys, you can go check out her video yourself. But what she was saying, it, it was kind of like, dang, you know, that would, that would really be hard. And I'm sitting up here pouring my heart out and then people are asking me like stupid questions about crap that you don't really need to be asking or saying like, oh, it looked like you got cancer, blah, 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 blah. And if you're a new YouTuber or if you're a small YouTuber, you can go to your settings and put certain words in your little comment box, um, words that you don't want to appear in your comments. Like you can put you no know, cussing, you can put detailed words in there. If anybody says these words, it won't even pop up on your YouTube channel at all. So just so that you know, just to kind of make it a positive thing, everything that she was saying about the black hair community and how we do not accept what we have and want to watch what we don't have and how they do push a certain um hair type out there. That's another reason why I don't like to hair type because it, it do make people feel a certain type of way and it's another way for them to divide us and to make us feel less than by this hair chart which is ridiculous but I mean that's just the way that the world is but like I keep saying I'm just here to tell you guys hey don't feel discouraged you can be that nappy 4c whatever if you want to call yourself nappy if you want to call yourself kinky if you want to call yourself coarse if you want to call call it whatever you want to call it but you are that light for somebody else even if only three people watch your video Video and you're one of them people like hey at least there's two other people that you just touched that you probably didn't even know that will probably thank you at the end of the day so I'm just here to say if you if you're doing YouTube videos don't get discouraged because you don't know how God can bless you and open up a door for you if that's what your goal is just pray ask God for whatever you want to ask him for and he'll open up that door for you if it's for you if it's not for you you know just keep it pushing but I will also say don't get into YouTube thinking that you're going to just blow up in a day or two because that's it's not it's not realistic it happens for some people the people that we're talking about but for most of us it don't happen so just be really happy and grateful for the little community that you do have if you're on YouTube because for Nappy Head of Jehovah she probably don't know who she was touching with her doing her hair videos and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that miss her doing her hair videos and I'm pretty sure she did get like a lot of mean comments but I'm pretty sure that she had a lot of people that actually loved and appreciated her for her and her hair for her hair. And it's just sad that as a black community, we don't support what we look like. And it's sad that that is the case, but no, it is the case. She had her own agenda in what she actually wanted to get out of YouTube. So if you're a small YouTuber, once again, and you felt discouraged by that message, 
please don't feel discouraged you can have your own little tribe and it don't have to be that big just as long as you're touching people if that's your goal if that's your goal like i said it just depends on what your goal is now if you're getting on youtube trying to get rich or trying to like get a whole bunch of money or something you know you might want to think about the the feel that you're in before you just think just think about what type of field you're in like what kind of content you want to give people what kind of youtuber you want to be like that's the only thing i'm saying is just think about what you want to be and what you're doing on youtube what what is your goals everybody have their own individual goal and i just don't want you to be discouraged on negative youtube content or even seeing people that don't look like you everybody is different and somebody out in the world might look like you so just keep doing your hair video and i mean i'm pretty sure somebody is going to really appreciate what in the world is going on with this dang twist though somebody's gonna appreciate what you're putting out there you just have to ask yourself why are you making the kind of content that you're making and what you're trying to get out of it and who you're trying to read so with that being said just stay positive just stay uplifted i do agree with everything that she said in the video but just stay positive if you're a small youtuber and you're in this game and you're just trying to you know show somebody out there that that black women can have nice healthy hair no matter what the grade is no matter what it is just stay encouraged so i am done pre-pooing my hair I only pre-pooed with oil this time and i'm gonna leave this in my hair i'm actually i'm gonna pour the rest of this in my hair i'm not sure if i'm gonna wash my hair with shampoo this week i'll see i'm not sure but i am completely done i am going to wrap this up and put my blow dryer on so you guys just let me know if you are a natural hair youtuber out there if you watch the video please be respectful in the comment section because this is a safe space this is a safe space for everybody and i do delete mean comments and i will delete people's comments if they have something smart to say if i see it fast enough i will delete it because don't nobody need extra bs thrown at them on the internet you got to deal with bs in life too so but that just being said please stay encouraged stay in your lane don't be looking at other people's lane because what's for you is for you and what's not for you ain't for you okay so i'm gonna leave this on my hair for 30 minutes and i'll see what i'm gonna do next with my hair so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a good one bye